Perry faces a drug possession charge. It may be the biggest storm in recorded history, Typhoon Haiyan claiming at least four lives already. And some people in the Miami Valley are waiting for word from loved ones. News Center 7's Una Lee talked to several people in the Dayton area who have family overseas. There are a lot of people still living in the Miami Valley who have relatives out in the Philippines, especially in Manila and where Typhoon Haiyan headed. I want to hear and make sure everybody's okay. Dr. Jerry Espolita is constantly checking his phone for updates from his relatives who live in Manila and two other islands. The Filipino people are pretty resilient because they're used to typhoons here and there, but supposedly this is going to be the worst that's ever hit, so we're, they're, they may not be prepared for this. From Manila. Armin and Marion Sason also concerned. They'd been trying several times this morning trying to reach her, but she wouldn't answer. I wasn't sure if the power had gone out or what. But Armin's mother is safe from the deadly storm as well as Marion's two sons. I'm very relieved. I was able to talk to them. We're still tracking Typhoon High on. It still has uh, ways to go and at this point it is clear the Philippines will be out the ocean for a while but it's expected to hit Vietnam, the coast of Vietnam sometime uh, Saturday evening. Super Typhoon Haiyan considered one of the strongest storms the area has ever seen. It came ashore 170 to 190 mile per hour winds with higher gusts. If you would compare that to probably Hurricane Camille, uh, essentially the worst hurricane wind speed wise that's ever hit the United States. Um, this essentially is bigger than Katrina, to put it in that type of context. Hitting the same area, the country saw a strong earthquake just a few weeks ago. We had a I'll call it a rescue mission to central uh, f the Philippines, and now we need to send uh, rescuers to rescue our rescuers. They got so. stranded. If you like to track Haiyan's path yourself, you can head to our website, whio.com. Reporting in Dayton, Una Lee, News Center 7. And here in